I found out today that Paul is working all next week, including next weekend, which is the weekend I get married. So as far as Paul's go going, I think that's it. We've seen the last of him. Um, I'm not going to lie, I haven't really let down. He's been my best mate for 16 years, and I'm not even getting a response from him at the moment. So yeah, I'm quite let down by him. It's time for Adam to get planning, with the help of best friend and best man, Paul. I've known Adam for about 15 years. I know him very well, he's my best friend. Adam's asked me to be the best man. It's an absolute privilege, an absolute honour. Firstly, Adam needs to find out exactly what he's letting himself in for. So I've never actually been to a tattoo convention. I don't think Danny's ever been to one either, but because we've both got a love of tattoos, I thought, what better place and different place to get married? You can incorporate so much here into a wedding reception. That's, what, that's the kind of thing I want for table, like centerpieces. Normal weddings have like flowers and stuff as a centerpiece. If we can get something like a skull, yeah, yeah. glitz it up a bit. Skulls on the table could be a bone of contention. Still, Adam and Paul are feeling inspired. I like the uh, few tattoos around for sort of guests to put on as well. Yeah, if they want transfers on the table for people to put on if they want to. So if they want to get whack involved, on the tattoo, yeah. Involved temporarily. Yeah, so yeah, we've got some pretty good ideas so far. So skulls and tattoo transfers. Well, it's a start. I'm gonna embody tattoo. I am tattoo from now on, and that's how I'm gonna move forward and get this ceremony the best it could possibly be. <laughs> Mate. I didn't expect to look like this. After a five-hour journey from Torquay, Adam and stand-in best man Nathan have arrived at Alexandra Palace in North London. This is it. This is the one. No, this is it. And they're impressed. This is my good friend Nathan. I couldn't think of a better person to come up with me today. So it's a pleasure to come up with you. Thank no you for your, all, your, all your work today. No worries. They're here to see the venue for Britain's biggest tattoo convention, where people with tattoos go to look at other people with tattoos and go, oh, nice tattoos. Adam's vision is to plan a wedding Danny will never forget. But with just three weeks till the convention and the event already scheduled, he'll have to turn on the charm to book a slot. Q convention organiser Shelley Bond. Time to act friendly. Shelley? Yes, that's Hi, me. I'm Adam. Hi, Adam. It's really good nice to meet you. Meet you. Mm, not too friendly. Hi, Shelley. I'm Nathan. Stop now. And you are. The well, best I'm sort man. of a well known the reserve on the stand in. I've had this idea of doing my wedding at the Great British Tattoo Show. I need to know what your expectations are because we're obviously just two and a half weeks out of yeah, I can imagine. the show. I'd love to do it on the catwalk. We run a very, very tight schedule on the catwalk. Yeah, yeah, There's a lot of entertainment yeah. from burlesque to live music. We are so limited on time. It, yeah. It's going to be I don't know. I can tell you, touch I can tell you and go. Did you get your back? While Adam gets drunk with a best man who isn't even his best man, Danny's spending some quality time with Mum Sarah, whose health is never far from their thoughts. So how are you feeling, Mum? How am I feeling? I'm feeling excited. I think that's what we need at the moment, a good... Good celebration. Good knees up. It'd be nice to look back at the photos and see me with a head of hair. It's going to be a lovely day. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it is. It's going to be amazing, amazing and Fun day. and just... It's great. It's, it's going to be emotional as well, I think. Cos I will cry. I know I'll cry. Happy tears, though. Oh, yeah. It's all happy tears. Just, it'd be nice to celebrate and then... Be it's something to be going to. No, you ain't got to be serious. It's not. It, it, yeah, it is serious. But if you if you if you dwell on it too much, then you've got to be positive. Go into it positive. Oh yeah, it's course, yeah. It's all about positive. Because thoughts, otherwise, isn't it? if you get down and depressed about it, you're not going to get better really. And, and I don't all... want. I don't want down and depressed. I want positive thinking and everybody to be. Yeah, happy. Man. You want to live and look for the future. You've got to do it. Adam has agreed to pay two thousand three hundred pounds to have his wedding and reception at Alexandra Palace. But there's a catch. We've got a 20 minute slot, five o'clock, on the main stage at the Great British Tattoo Show, but that 20 minutes incorporates the service, the setup and takedown of any props that we use. Yeah. Like, if she's late, it could jeopardise the service. Oh, don't worry, boys. It's only a five hour wedding day drive from Torquay to London. What could possibly go wrong? With his tattoo wedding green lit, it's time Adam broke the news to his mum and nan. Trouble is, 
Neither of them like tattoos very much. In just under three weeks' time, I'm getting married at the Alexandra Palace in London. Oh, my God. At the Great British Tattoo Show. Oh, my God. On the main stage. Well, you won't stand out from the crowd at all, will you? No. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So, what do you make of the whole it being at the Alexandra Palace at a tattoo convention? Well, I had time to think about it, really. Give us a sec. <laughs> tattoo convention, I can't think of anything worse. But it's very you. Oh, I hate tattoos. On a wall. And this. And this. <laughs> I don't mind your beard, it's just it's a bit wide. You've oh. got a thin face and... But that's only our opinion, darling. Oh, great. Still but love hey. you. Oh. Love you dearly. I know whatever you do, I will be so proud of you. Aww. I'm bubbling up now. Aww. Adam's halfway through week two of wedding planning. And best man Paul's been in touch with some upsetting news. I found out today that Paul is working all next week, including next weekend, which is the weekend I get married. So as far as Paul's got going, I think that's it. We've seen the last of him. Um, I'm not going to lie, I haven't really let down. He's been my best mate for 16 years and I'm not even getting a response from him at the moment. So, yeah, I'm quite let down by him. Sadly, with troubles of his own, there's no way Paul can be best man. In the back of mind to replace Paul, I think there's only one person. He stepped in last time to help me, so I'm going to ask Nathan. He's been reliable. He's always responded to messages and stuff, so hopefully he won't uh, let me down when I ask him. The most important thing is to give Danny the best possible wedding I can give her, so that's why I'm focusing on that. Anything that's like gone wrong so far is at the back of my mind for now. Oh, my God. Literally be thousands of people. Yeah, can't wait. This is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be great. Thank you so much. I'm no buzzing now. This is gonna be so good. Sam! I think she's gonna be blown away, and I think she's gonna love it. But we'll, we'll find out later, I suppose. It's not your normal wedding for a start. We're at a tattoo convention, but I've also got thousands and thousands of guests that I don't even know. Just people who are here for the convention who are gonna witness our our wedding. 